Go ahead. Now I will be cutting a quarter of the albacore tuna. This is the uh, stomach side. This here is the stomach cavity. This is where we take the toro from. First, I'm going to remove the uh, collar section. I'm going to get around this side of it. Now I'll remove the uh, internal organs. I begin by removing this internal, uh, the uh, stomach cavity from the main body of me. I'm going to remove the skin from the meat. Can you see? It's important to never try and make uh, one full incision down to the bottom of a skin at one go because oftentimes uh, it's difficult for your hand to direct the knife. So I usually do it in two slides. Let's see here. I'm removing the skin from three sides of the uh, main piece of meat. As you view this, it might seem that uh, we are wasting uh, quite a bit of the meat. However, for sashimi grade fish, scent is a very important factor that you want to avoid. So it's very important to uh, make an insert with your knife to the point of where the uh, fish smell no longer touches the meat. Many people often comment, oh, this uh, tuna uh, has no scent, or, um, oh, this uh, is a bit fishy. Oftentimes, it's because the uh, chef did not trim the skin uh, far enough. There's many other things that contribute to the scent, uh, such as um, leaving the tuna out uh, in a warm temperature and the meat deteriorates and discolors. Also, many people say that tuna is best when you eat it half frozen. Many people just don't like that kind of frozen crunch, but uh, oftentimes the scent is still kind of, uh, you, you can't sense it at all if the meat is still half frozen and the texture of the meat once it becomes too soft, it becomes a little too buttery, but if you have just a bit of that chill to it, it makes it a, a perfect uh, morsel of uh, fresh fish. So here I'm dividing the piece of meat in two sections. One and two. And these are the sections that we use for the nigiri. Once again, I'm using my deba knife. At this point, I could use my yanagiba, which is this long knife here. It uh, looks like a very small version of the samurai sword. I could use that, but at the same time, um, that's the knife that I use for uh, daily activities during the business hours, cutting sashimi, and I want to try and keep it as clean and uh, scentless as possible. Let's see. And now I trim my meat, and right before I uh, serve the meat, I'll trim it once again because there might be a little discoloration on the sides, but for now, uh, I'm happy with these two pieces. Just hold it for a second.